What's up guys, my mate D here, back with another video. Today I am doing a coin video. And today, I actually have a new system. As you can see, we got a thing, and I finally got a microscope. Let me take you, camera. Got a microscope right here. Um, yeah, so it's really cool, I'm really happy. Um, I got that for my birthday, got my birthday. Um, and also I got a bunch of coins to show you. It'll be three parts, that's how many coins there are. We got three videos. First, then they're all for my birthday. I'll, of course, space them out because then I want an hour video. So this first video is just dimes. I went to two coin shops and one coin show. This is the first coin shop I went to. I picked up 22 silver dimes. 18 are um, mercury dimes and four are Roosevelt's. So to start off, and these are all that I needed for my collection too, which was really great because I needed a few for my collection, but now I have it. Awesome. So I got this kind of background here, so I hope... It's not too crazy. It's a little, it's, I got put like a white cloth on it, but it kind of looks pretty cool. Anyways, so first coin, really nice detail right here. We got a 1949 dime. Ooh, like that. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, I'm not the, not the greatest condition. It's probably, I don't know, XF. I don't know, maybe extra fine, something. 1949, and uh, I'm my fingers in the way, but it is... 1949 Philly, because the mint mark would be right there, right by the, um, let me use a pencil, the mint mark would be right about there, and I still left the torch, but you'll see some, I think I have, yeah, this next one, or one of the next ones I'll show you, so this is really cool, nice coin, pretty cool, what was the real time, is a really nice coin, this is 1949, so this was this is the, what, 46, 47, 48, 49, the fourth year of vintage. So it's a pretty cool coin. It's not nothing rare. There's really no rare um, Roosevelt dimes, but this one just happened to be one that I need. So, yes. Next coin is a plastic holder. Hopefully that shouldn't make it a little bit of a glare, but I'll have to change it. Uh, hold on, let me take it out, guys. Give me one second. It's the problem is I have these nice protective things until you can't get them out. So, I'll be back with the next coin. Alright, so we're back with another coin. This one is another Roosevelt dime. Let's push that one in. And the frame right there. A little bit of a nicer one, I think. Still got some hits, but it's still a nice one overall. 1948, so the third year of issue. You can see, pretty good condition. Um, yeah, it's a nice Mercury dime. I needed it. Sorry, Roosevelt dime. And you did it for my collection. And then, no mint mark on this one either. Well, it's a nice one. It's got some cool toning, as you can see. It's a little bit of a different color than the other one. So it's got some nice toning. Like I said, another great dime. Another third dime. Mostly the ones I need are a little bit earlier ones. Let's get this one to focus. This one is a 1948, also third year of issue. Cool, got a few scratches. Um, it still looks very nice. This one, as you can see, right. Ah, where's my facial? Right there, there is an S. You can see S right there, and that means it's from a San Francisco mint. And then also the other mint mark is D for Denver. It's a pretty cool, pretty cool coin, as you can see on um, the detail. I mean, there's usually there's detail in this little middle thing right here. There's none in this coin, so the back is pretty warm. The front is okay. So a nice coin, and the fourth and final Roosevelt dime is a 1950. Or still an earlier coin. I needed the earlier ones. So you can still you can still see the um, his hair, but 1950, pretty big gash in his um, neck. But honestly, to me, I don't want like a whole one. I would never buy a whole dime if I my book. Um, but yeah, and we got a D mint mark. So this is Denver. So you have the Philadelphia with no mint mark, the Denver of this mint mark, and then San Francisco. Pretty, pretty worn as well. Still very cool. So that was the four Roosevelt dimes. And then now I got 18, like I said, 18 Mercury dimes. So these are really cool. Um, these are pretty warm. Most of these are pretty warm, but they're still really cool. Starting off, 1916, first year of issue. And this, um, use my marker again where is it pencil 
this right here. Many people confuse for a mint mark. It's not. It's really worn in this case, but it's actually an AW for out of Hawaiian mint. He was a man who engraved this coin. Usually the coin, as you saw in the uh, Roosevelt Times, had a JS. I don't know what his name was, but he was the dude who designed it. But 1916, pretty worn. It's actually in pretty good condition, honestly, for 1916. The rim is pretty... As you see, the rim is kind of like getting into the coin, kind of like like a like a tie dye shirt. It's you know like the colors are fading, and this is kind of fading right into the rim, which you see them usually in 1916 and a lot of the earlier uh, Mercury dime years. You see that it's pretty bad in the back, I would say. Yeah, you can see in the back, really no detail whatsoever. But it's a San Francisco mint. If this was a D, you'd be worth a thousand, twelve hundred dollars, give or take or so. So it's not a D. 16 D is the key date. Always look out for one. Many of them are fake, though. Like, if you if you find one that's like this and it has a D on it, most likely it's fake if you find it from, like, a dealer bin because they've already checked that because they really know. But, like, if it's really, really worn, you can't tell, but you think it's a D, you know, for 20 times face or 2 bucks or, you know, buck ninety or 210 or whatever, how much it is, it's kind of worth getting because, you know, a $2 dime can turn into, like, a $1,200 dime. Um, but most likely, if it's that condition, it's probably more of, like, a 700, 800 coin, but still very cool. Next coin, another early one, I'm pretty sure. Yes, 1925, slightly early in the 20s. It's got a little bit of, like, toning on the sides. And it's got some kind of a ring dings, as you can see over there. So very cool. I mean, all Mercury Dimes are cool. It's pretty worn, like I said. That's very worn, like the rim is doing pretty bad. 1916D, I needed that for my collection. It kind of looks like an O. We got some pretty bad marks there and, you know, there. But it's still cool. And like I said, guys, I got this really nice microscope, so it might be a little bit, um, a little bit different. This is the first time I'm using it, actually, for looking for coins, so, uh, I'll definitely get better as time goes on, but I'm very thankful for having this and to get all these amazing coins to show you because you guys love my coin videos. And this is a great time to say to make sure to please like, comment, subscribe. Um, that's how I know that you love my videos and you guys really love the coin and uh, Hearts of Mind 4 videos, so I'm making, as you see, I got this one, I'll have two more coming out. Uh, maybe in a week or two after the fact so pretty cool um, things like the video and everything like that yes comment below any ideas or anything if I ask a question comment down below it's cool anyways moving on this is 1929 um, really worn as you can see but I got some ring dings but these the, the hard it's hard to get a good mercury dime usually I mean a good mercury dime this is gonna set you back a few more but I'm trying to make a set and not have too much because look at that like look at that d the d's filled in pretty crazy i wonder i don't know it kind of looks maybe that, i wonder if that's an error that could be an error i don't know comment down below guys if you think it's an error because to me that looks like it's not worn enough to be completely flat like this is a worn coin but like it's not like a flat worn coin so who knows maybe that is an error and then the next coin A little bit of damage, but 1926. So not the 21. The 21 is another rare date. Pretty big gash on that. But like I said, these are pretty hard to come by in high grades. And high grades are really expensive. But these you can find in bins at your local store. Another gash right there. So a very nice coin. Denver Mint uh, 26D. So pretty cool. Another one I needed from the collection. Like I said, I need all of these for my collection. This one's a little bit darker. And it pretty big scratch but this is a 1926 as well 26 San Francisco um, I think maybe a little bit of a better date I'm not too sure the vintage is actually uh -oh, but it's still a you know, early date and probably any before 1930 is a, is a harder to date this one's a little bit better as you can see um this looks kind of sus actually if you can see it's sus um, right about there. That actually looks like a die crack. Um, not too sure, but as you can see right there, that looks like a, like a, it's like, it's like a natural line, like a line that would come, because an unnatural line is like a big, you know, mark on it. So, I'll have to do some research, but 1937, um, let me look at the back. I think it's a, is it a Philly? 1937 S. I'll have to see if it's a die crack, because like this, like right by, below the torch, that isn't, that's not natural. That's like a, it's like a man-made thing. Um, but to me, that looks like a die crack. I will have to 
do some more research. I'll put that one aside, but that could be a die crack. If it is, let me look at it one more time. Um, but it's right above, it's between the B and E. So that would be correspond to the one dime. So let's look at it from this angle and see. I don't see anything, so maybe not. Maybe I'll just, maybe it looks like it's a pretty, it looks like it's a die crack, but I don't think it is. Cause it'd be right about there because if you flip it over, then it's beanie. Anyways, still very cool. Coin, it's actually like I said, of a nicer bit, nicer condition coin. Next up, we got a 1928. So I, I would still classify this as an early coin. Pretty bad condition. I mean, a lot of these are. But yeah, I don't. I wouldn't like. I didn't, I didn't pick any old coins. And it's an S. This one's filled in. This one. The other one might be just wear. But this is definitely wear. I would say it's pretty. You were on. Wait. Got a lot of wear. Next one. This one's a little bit better. I think this was cleaned. Looking at it. I don't know. It could be cleaned. To me, it looks clean. It's pretty shiny. It's 1920. 1920 actually kind of looks a little bit weird. As you can see, the two. Now that I have this microscope, I'm looking at everything. The two looks like it's a double. As you can see, sorry, I'm pretty shaky. Ah. The two right there. That one looks pretty double. It could be a double. I don't know. I have no idea. But um, cool. D, 1920D, a little bit early. That's actually pretty good for an earlier coin. And then this one's got a little bit of weird colors, as you can see. It's got a little bit of a hole right there, but 1919, pretty early year, and I think that's some you know, gunk on it. But it is a pretty good condition. Eh, just some, some coloration. But 1919 D. There. It's a little bit early date, Denver Mint. Not a 1916D, but still pretty cool. Next one, we got a 1930s, so a little bit later. Um, yeah, a little bit better condition, as you can see, than the other ones. AW is kind of marked off. But. Um, and this is 1930 Philadelphia. For some reason, I didn't have that. I, don't know, I have no idea why, but I just I didn't have that one. It's pretty common, I think. 30S I don't have, but that's a little bit more uncommon. Yeah. Next coin... 19, another 1919, really worn. You can see, can't even see. It just says we trust. The D, we trust. So, like, it, we trust. So, it's pretty, pretty, pretty worn. But look at that, crazy worn. And it's, it's an S, though. So, like, you can't even see dime. You can barely see E Pluribus Unum. You can't even see the full thing. You can see United States. You can see one. You can see D. You can see S. Yes, that's about it. So, pretty worn, pretty worn. This one, next coins, 1935. Little bit better condition, it looks like. Got a rim ding on it, but a little bit of a better condition, 1935. Mint mark, sorry, the initial, Graver's initials is a little bit different. But 1935, and then 1935, and then it's got the D mint, pretty big mint mark on that. Still pretty cool, a little bit worn, but. This one's a little bit better condition. It's 1939, so one of the is the last year, the 30s. Pretty good, worn slightly, but still pretty good. And then you can see the, as you can see the lines of the lines in the middle. Although if you can see those, that's pretty good, pretty good sign. If you can see these lines, usually you can't. And this one is a San Francisco mint. So it's actually got a little bit of a marks on it but still a very cool coin very nice coin 39 yes right yes wait is it yes yeah, yes anyways next coin pretty good condition too this one actually might be the best condition and a lot 1944 it's the second to last year that makes sense still pretty cool nice detail it's got a little bit of kind of wear in the bottom of the liberty in each letter and the mint mark Sorry, the designer initial keeps it a bit mark. But look at that, you can see almost all the lines. And a big um, a deciding feature on grading these is called full split bands. Um, it's where this middle band, this top band, and this bottom band, you can see the lines. Because there is lines in them. 
and unfortunately you can't see them on this coin, but if you have a coin like that, it's usually got to be like MS64, 66 range. Those are quite expensive, but those are pretty rare. They find a full split band. But San Francisco Mint 44S, so not a better date, but I just didn't have it. Next coin is we have a 1940, so first year of the 40s. Pretty good. We got the nice Mercury. That's supposed to be Lady Liberty or Mercury, so that's why it's called the Mercury Dime. And then the back, got a little bit more of a line. It's got a little bit of weird stuff going on in the middle. But it's an S Mint, so 1940S. Didn't have. So now I do have it. And then another 30s. 1936. Right here, 36. Denver Mint. Denver's a little bit crooked, but still fine. Pretty worn, actually, because this was, what, 36? So pretty worn for a 36. But that's, this is about average as we would see. This is probably one of the average to higher end of the grade you would see. But I'm not buying these from grades. I'm buying them to fill spots in my album. So this one's pretty interesting too. This is actually pretty good for 1917. So second year mintage, guys. This is only the second year mintage. And it's already pretty good. It's got a little bit of like a little stain right in the a, in the, near the AW. But it's actually the AW is pretty intact. It's not intact. Pretty intact for 1917. And then it's a 1917S. So second year San Francisco Mint is not rare at all. I just didn't have it. 16S is not rare at all. I do have it. 16D is the only rare one in the teens. And then you have 21 and 21D are the other key dates of the series. Not including varieties or anything. This coin, pretty good too. 1918, so third year mintage. Pretty good condition on this coin actually. Um, as you can see, 1918D. Pretty good condition, you know, end of World War One, So pretty cool. Um, these are really cool coins. Um, let me take a take a, this, compare it, show you guys. Side by side, Mercury and Roosevelt. Well, these are really cool, very nice coins, and they're the, the most common dimes. Barber dimes are pretty rare to find. There's actually, in the place that I went to, there's plenty of barber dimes in there. Nothing special. But um, there's plenty of barber dimes. Nothing early, like 1912 and 1916 or something, like barely anything, uh, I think. So it wasn't well, 1915, stuff like that. So it wasn't crazy. It wasn't a bunch of dimes, but there's plenty of barber dimes. There's gonna be like 10 uh, barber dimes. There's a big bucket, but 10 barber dimes is pretty good for a bucket. Usually you see mostly Roosevelt's. As you see, the JS right there is the desired initials, but mostly Roosevelt's and then some Mercury's. So we got a Roosevelt design, really cool design, honored after President Franklin D. Roosevelt, who was president from 1933 to 45. He died in office. He was the only person to win a third term. Uh, yeah, so he was a pretty, um, pretty interesting dude. He was pretty. He led us through World War II. Yeah, I think actually he won his. Yeah, he did three terms because that's 12 years, and he he ran for the fourth term and he. I think he won, or maybe he won, I'm not sure if he won, but he died before he could do that. Yeah, I think he, he, he just won, but like died a few months into it, so that's unfortunate. And then you have President um, Harry Truman, who, you know, looked after the design and made sure it happened. And then Liberty, 1916 to 1945, um, it was replaced by the Roosevelt dying, like I said. So yeah, pretty cool, very good coin. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video so much because I know I am with a bunch of coins, you know, so many new coins, three coin videos worth of stuff, and, you know, and this microscope, which I'm, you know, really thankful to have. So, once again, um, please subscribe, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.